Hi, this is Brandon with DigiFX, here to bring you a new tutorial from Buena Depth Q version 2. In today's tutorial, we're going to be focusing on the plugin flip side. Um, with that plugin, you can be able to actually take one layer and take another layer and be able to put them back to back. As you can see, we can be able to create a really cool effect as in the flip clock as you see here. So what we're going to do is just show you how to create that. What you want to do is start off by creating a new composition. We're going to call it Master. Click OK. All right, and then we're going to create another composition called Zero Bottom. And then create another one called Zero Top. So we could have a top and bottom layer of a number. And I've already created a bunch of AI files from 0 to 9 that I could be able to use. So I'm just going to drag and drop a 0 into the bottom and top layer. Okay. And we're going to show rulers just for the first layer so we can create our mask. And we're going to put it right there in the center. Okay. So what we want to do now is select our layer and choose the rectangle tool to create a nice even mask across our ruler. And there we go. And we're going to duplicate this mask. And we're going to copy it onto the top layer. Control V. And then we're going to uh, look at the mask properties and invert it so that way the top layer is there. The reason why we do this is so that way our intersecting or our cut line is the same for the top and bottom layer so that way it could be more symmetrical. So what we want to do now is actually create layers or create compositions for one and two so that way we can use it for our master comp. So let's go through that. And to stay with the uh, keeping it symmetrical, we're going to copy the original mask that we created and paste it to the other composition's uh, layers. And then for the top one, we're going to paste it and then go to our mask properties and hit invert and do the same thing for two. And the one thing that we want to do is go through and um, click on the 3D um, and motion blur and activate it in each composition so we can get a little bit more realistic effect when we go into the master comp. All right, so now we're going to go to the master comp and we're going to bring all of our other comps that we made from 0 to 2 down into there. Right. And before we do anything, we're going to duplicate the zero bottom and zero top and put it on the bottom. So that way we can actually have a endless loop going from 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. Um, we're going to select all, activate the 3D, uh, bring all of the layers down to 1 minute and 15 frames, or 1 second and 15 frames. Okay. And then we're going to go through and stagger them. So go from um, one bottom, one top should go at about 15 frames. So we're going to find that. Okay. And then we're going to take the zero and bring it down to one second. And we're going to do the same thing for two bottom and two top, as well as zero bottom and zero top. Put it at the one second 15 frame mark. And then put this at the two second 15 frame mark. All right. So now that we got them staggered, what we want to do is uh, we're going to trim our composition down so we have a better area to work in. Okay. And the first thing we want to do is we're actually going to go through and just show you how to animate this, how to animate the zero top so it flips over onto the bottom. You want to activate the animation for uh, X rotation and go to the one second mark and put it to 180 degrees. Okay. So that way you actually have a nice little flip area. Okay. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is activate the motion blur for this composition, especially for all the layers. And as you can see, it gives a little bit more realistic effect, but you can tell that the zero is still there on the back side. So what we want to do is apply flip side to this to fix it. Okay, But now you can tell is that when we uh, move it now, um, that there is no back to it. That it just completely disappears. So what we want to do is go up into the flip side properties and choose one bottom. But then we run into a problem where you can see that it is flipped, that it's not lining up properly. So what we want to do is uncheck flip horizontally. And there we go. So what we're going to do is just go through and animate all the other ones. So that way the top of it flips down onto the bottom and we're going to apply flip side to all of our top layers. Alright. So what we're going to do is go back through and animate from the 15 frame mark to the next one second mark for 180 degrees. but one thing we want to do is as you could tell is that we have a nice little slit in the middle so what we want to do is actually cover that up so we're going to create a new solid a new black solid make a 3d apply motion blur to it and we're going to just decrease the size of it so that way it at least matches the width of the the number And there we go, we have our composition made where we actually use flip side to create a nice looking flip clock. And you can be able to use this project file or download it from our website at www.digieffects.com. And you can be able to use all of these slides that I made, especially the numbers. And since they're created in Adobe Illustrator, you can go back through and change them to any style that you want. And you'll be able to apply them or reload the footage back into After Effects. And I've also created many other sequences where you could actually use the minutes loop, uh, double minutes loop, months loop, all this thing. So um, feel free to download and take a look. Pretty much I just cut down half of your time if you're looking for a nice flip clock or anything flip. This is Brandon with DigiFX. Um, have a nice day.